This is another in the series of videos on accessibility in the iPad and this video is going to focus on the voiceover component of accessibility. So to turn that on go to settings and into general accessibility and there are the options for those with vision impairments and this video is just going to look at voiceover. So tap to turn it on. Before we do turn it on there are a number of other uh, commands and settings that you can change. So let's just go through them. Um, the speaking rate you can change it, move it up and down from here to adjust how fast the voice speaks to you and you can also do that through what is you, what is known as the rotor which is a, a selection like a dial where you can select different criteria. Uh, there is support for braille keyboards and you need a Bluetooth braille keyboard and I've got my Bluetooth turned off which is why that's come up but just know that you can connect braille uh, keyboards to the iPad. The rotor is like a virtual control, a dial where you can adjust different settings and that uh, determines or helps you navigate your way through a page, a web page or a book or a, a document and you can select the sorts of things that you want the rotor to be able to change for you. For example, selecting speech rate means that when you're listening to a, to a page being read to you, you can change the rate the voice uh, speaks. So you want it to go faster, you flick up. If you want it to go slower, you flick down. Same with the volume. If you want it higher, flick up. Flick down for decreased volume. You can get the uh, voiceover to read the document to you character by character or word by words. Uh, when you're on a web page you can uh, just select the button so that every time you uh, tap something it will show you where the buttons are. Uh, they're the things that I've selected and I'll show you how it works when we get into uh, the web pages. Uh, the language of the rotor. So you can also get the page that you're on to be read to you in other languages and there's a list of I think up to 36 different languages. So if you had something written in Australian English uh, you could get that sentence say read to you in Australian English. If you had a sentence typed out in French and you were still using the Australian English voice the, it would sound like an Australian trying to speak French. You really want to change the language to having the French voice speak French text. And so I'll show you how to do that by just looking at uh, English and French and Italian. But you can select all these things in the settings before you actually start. Uh, navigating images, so when you're on a web page, when you come to a, an image, do you want the voiceover to actually say you're on an image and describe what that image is about if it's got a caption? Uh, always with descriptions or never, I've said never. And all we have to do is turn it on. Now there are a number of commands uh, and gestures to learn. So here's a summary of some of the key voiceover gestures that you, you would need to, to learn. Um, and I think the more you use voiceover, the better you become at it. And there's some other commands for how to activate things. When you turn voiceover on, you can practice the command. So if you have the, the commands in front of you or you've learnt them, to practice you tap Voice over practice. Voice over practice. Button. Voice over practice. Double tap to activate voice it. Voice over practice. Heading. Practice voice over gestures. Commands and typing in this area. Select the done button in the top right corner and double tap to exit. So if I just practice a few gestures, it will read them out to me. Two finger flip down. Read page starting at selected item. Two finger flip up. Read page starting at the top. Two finger scrub. Activate the back button if present. Three finger flip right. Scroll left one page. Two finger double tap. Start and stop the current action. For example, start some stops, playback of music and video. So you get the idea. You practice all the gestures until you sort of understand how to use them. And then when you're done, tap the done, done. button. button. Turn it on. Uh, there is a number of, of you know, brief instructions here, but let's just turn it on. Voice over 
So when you tap something, it tells you what it is. If you want to activate it, it's a double tap with one finger. So if I wanted to turn voiceover off, I'm going to select that button. And the double tap turns it off. It would get quite complicated if you want to turn voiceover on and off by keeping uh, having to go into the settings uh, and turn it on and off that way. There is a quicker way to turn all of these things on and that is by going back to accessibility there is a triple click home. There are vision settings, hearing, learning, physical and motor settings. All of those can be activated by uh, assigning a triple click home. So if I went into there I can, can uh, include all of these. So when I triple click the home button I'm given a menu and then I can choose which one I want to use. So I've selected all those. So instead of turning voiceover on through the settings, I'm going to go back to the home menu. So triple click home to bring up the menu. And I'm going to turn on invert colours, which is one of the options. And turn voiceover on just by tapping it. Now triple click again so I can turn off invert colours. Tapping it once. Double tap turns it off. But the voiceover is still on. So I don't have to go from icon to icon. I don't have to, to do that. I can go anywhere on the page. Uh, anyone that I pick will work. Three fingers, swipe left or right to move between screens. So three finger page will turn to a different screen. So let's look at how it would work for the language in the rotor. So I'm going to open notes. notes. So tap it Double once tap to select to it. Double tap to open it. So that is an Australian voice reading out an Italian sentence and a French sentence and doesn't sound near as good. To change that so that I can get the Italian voice to read the Italian sentence, we use the rotor. And to activate the rotor, I'm just going to turn my fingers in, in a, like I'm turning a dial. And each time I turn my fingers, I can pick something else. So I want to select language. So we're going to come back up here and select the Italian. And it's still being read as an Australian, but if I flick up, different language, Australian English. So there's the Italian voice. Just by flicking up continuously, it changes the voices that you've selected. Now if I tap again, tap away. It sounds better than the Australian voice reading it. I flick up to get the French, French voice. Australian English. And anywhere you are in the page, you can just flick up or flick down to change the options in that particular rotor application. So I've went back to rotor. Speech rate, volume. Volume, just going up and down. 90%. Flicking up, up with my finger, I can change the volume. 100%, Flicking down, 85%. changes the volume to go down. Edits. Go to speaking rate. Speech rate. Okay, the speech rate. If I want it to go faster or slower, select that line. So as I'm flicking up, it's changing the speech rate. Now it's getting faster as, as, as I keep flicking up. I want to get to go a bit slower, flick down. 63%, Sounds better. Try again. Today is Wednesday, the 24th of July. Now once you've got it set, it might take a bit of adjusting, but you can use that rotor to adjust how you want to hear things. 
Now we can have a look at how VoiceOver works in the mail application and combine that with the dictation and perhaps with Siri as well. So if I wanted to open Marcus, so I can tap mail. So it tells me I'm on the mail app and how many items there are and how to open it. Now I can double tap to open it or I could use Siri. So to get Siri to open up the mail app, hold that home button down. Open mail. Button. So the voiceover is going to tell you where all the buttons are and it will repeat each character that you tap and re read back to you what you, you've entered. So to type something, it's going to tap in the message area, double tap to bring the keyboard up. So when I tap the letter T, it tells me what the letter is. It repeats it, in, it so I know it is a T, so tango, T for tango. If I want to put that letter into the message, I have to double tap the T. 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 Which is going to become quite a long process if you keep doing it that way. The other way you can do it is by tapping the letter with one finger and then with another finger of the same right. hand, placing, okay. uh, tapping your finger onto the uh, message area. So if I'm going to put H in, As I tap the H, my other finger on the same hand is placing the H, just tapping on anywhere in that message area. So I haven't actually got my finger right where the insertion point is, I'm just tapping anywhere on that white space. Tap the space bar to select it, double tap to move it. I think that would get quicker as you got used to it and had more practice. As it's my first time, it's quite slow. But that whole process to me is a very slow way of inputting text. There are two better ways you could get uh, Siri to do it for you, or even quicker is to use the microphone and, and record and dictate what you wanted to say. So to get a new line, tap return. And then double tap it to get a new line. This time we're going to actually record a sentence instead of typing it. So tap the microphone. Dictate. Double tap to start dictation. Two finger double tap when finished. Today is a lovely winter's day in Melbourne. Think. Insert it today is a lovely winter's day in Melbourne. So you, it will insert it for you and then it will tell you what you actually have inserted. VoiceOver will also read web pages to you or iBooks to you. Let's just look at how it works in Safari. So select Safari. Dog. Safari. Web page loaded. And here's an, an article uh, here that with uh, two fingers I can scroll down. News. Page two of eleven. With three fingers I can scroll down page to page. And if I tap, but there wasn't among the floors outside the Lindo in the Cosmos where supporters had their hands full with mobile phones. Handle with the tab next to capture the moment. If that was too slow, I could use the rotor to increase the, the speaking rate. Speech rate, speech rate. But there wasn't a 23 percent, 28 percent. But there wasn't among the floors outside the Lindo in the Cosmos for 23 percent. So to stop the, the speech, you just tap once inside where you want it to to speak. The uh, problem with the web page is that, is that there is a lot of extraneous information there. We've got links on the right, we've got a video, we've got uh, some pictures. So using the reader uh, application combined with VoiceOver means that you could just get the article read to you without any, any of the other distractions. So this article, to put it into reader, tap reader, the reader button. And you just double tap that to get the reader going. And now all we have is that actual article and nothing else. To get it to read the whole page, double click down. 
Lee was outside, then he let in the cosmos for her support and had their hands full with mobile phones. Hand her in the tab list to capture the moment. Well, this tab to stop it. There is enough there for you to use that whether you have some vision impairment or you're completely blind and you need a screen reader like, like um, voiceover or you have language difficulties because even then you can get a, a voiceover to read it to you. To turn it off, triple click to bring up that menu, tap voiceover once to select it and double tap to turn it off. 